Finally, I have all the information pieces to make this video on the upcoming NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 Ti graphics card. Thanks to leaked MSI NDA documents, we now know the exact date and time when the new GPU will be available in stores near you. Well, hopefully. At least in some of them. But let's not linger on the ongoing awful state of the graphics card market. In this video, I will tell you everything we know so far about the RTX 3090 Ti, including the specs, performance, release date and price. Before that, buy your Windows 10 license for less at cdkoffers.com using the link in the description below. Use code IV20 for an additional 20% off and safely check out with PayPal for instant delivery. RTX 3090 features a slightly cut-down version of GA102 GPU chip. RTX 3090 Ti is the first consumer-grade graphics card to feature a fully enabled die, although it is a pretty small upgrade compared to RTX 3090. 3090 Ti will feature 10,752 CUDA cores, compared to 10,496 inside the RTX 3090. The new card will take advantage of the top-tier memory modules made by Micron, that is 24 GB of GDDR6X 21 GB per second video memory, resulting in a bandwidth over 1000 GB per second. 3090 Ti will have a slightly better ray tracing and DLSS performance thanks to additional RT and Tensor cores. It gets two extra RT cores and eight additional Tensor cores. Unfortunately, this graphics card will be extremely power-hungry if the rumors are true. Most trustworthy leakers are saying that 3090 Ti will have a 450 Watt TGP. Do you want to keep your house warm this winter? Look no further. RTX 3090 Ti is perfect for the job. Now let's talk about its performance in games. RTX 3090 Ti specs are just slightly better than RTX 3090, so I expect it to be around 6% faster. I went ahead and created some benchmark graphs to put it all into perspective. FYI, the numbers for 3090 Ti are estimates based on that 6% improvement expectation. I don't have the graphics card on hand, and reviewers that might have it will not be sharing their data until the embargo is lifted later in January. I won't be commenting over each graph individually, because frankly the performance difference is fairly small and self-explanatory. A couple of things to point out. 3090 Ti probably will be able to match the RX 6900 XT performance at 4K in games that favor AMD graphics cards, while improving on the lead in the rest of the titles where 3090 already occupies the top position. Of course, with the exception of Assassin's Creed Valhalla at 1440p, where RX 6000 series GPUs absolutely dominate. Nevertheless, 3090 Ti will undoubtedly deliver the new level of flagship performance to the high-end gaming. So, if you want the best out of the best graphics card that also handles ray tracing better than any other GPU, then this is the one for you. Speaking of which, you probably want to know when it will be available. Let's talk about it. A source that wishes to remain anonymous, for obvious reasons, shared an MSI RTX 3090 Ti non-disclosure agreement via videocards.com. Other sources confirmed that it is genuine, so the info I am about to share with you is good. Both product reviews and start of sale will happen on the same day at the same time, 27th of January at 6 a.m. Pacific time. Additionally, it is very likely that NVIDIA will reveal all the official information about RTX 3090 Ti during the CES 2022 event on January 4th at 8 a.m. Pacific time. Subscribe so that you don't miss any updates. As for the price, we don't know yet. I think that MSRP will be less than $2,000, but I am sure that the actual retail price will be well over $2,000. By the way, did you know that NVIDIA's next-gen RTX 40 series graphics cards are expected to launch in quarter 4 2022? I have a whole video about RTX 4090. Check it out. I guarantee that its performance will blow your mind. Also, like this video if it was helpful. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.